What's up YouTube? This is your boy DJ Magic Juan coming to you with another video tutorial. Uh, today, as you can see, we have a launch pad from Novation and it comes with that uh, Obliton software. Uh, but in this case, we're not going to be using it, you know, music wise. The reason I bought this is because this is a uh, as you can call it a MIDI controller what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you uh, how to set it up with the my DMX to use the pads as triggers as you can see I got the lights set up and everything and uh, I'll show you guys how to get it working it's an easy process there's a couple of, couple of things you have to download, but other than that, uh, it's, an, it's a fairly easy setup. Um, this launch pad runs for about 150 normally, um, I think, or 200 I think is the retail list. Um, I got a good deal on it at Best Buy. I mean, I'm sorry, not at Best Buy, at Guitar Center. Ugh. It's been a long day at work. Um, a guitar center for about a hundred bucks so that's not a bad investment um, main reason I bought this is because uh, my son's gonna be helping me from uh, from now on or actually he's been helping me a lot loading up and you know setting up and stuff like that but uh, I want him to start getting more interactive so I thought this would be a cool way to for him to interact you know, since the uh, launch pad does have different colors and everything. I haven't gotten it to work with other colors. Right now it's just like a static red. But uh, I know there's a program out there that's called Catapult. Um, that lets you use it, you know, with different colors and everything. Uh, it's not a free download. You have to buy it. But this will work for now. Um, and I would put the, uh, I'll put all the links in the descriptions at the bottom. Um... I've, I've uh, as always, I did my research, and I only found one video on uh, on using the launch pad as for the DMX. Um, as you all know, you know D uh, my DMX has a MIDI triggering too. So, uh, what better way you know than do it with the cool pad? And this adds a little, you know, I guess you can say a little cool variation, you know, a cool look to your setup. Um, but anyways, yeah, uh, let's get down to it, you guys. Um, first of all, what you want to do is you want to install the drivers for the Novation Launchpad. Um, the CD, uh, the software that it comes with it gives you a choice of installing drivers and the software. Um, I mean, if you're going to be using it for, you know, for the audio purpose, you know, you want, uh, you can go ahead and do it. But this is only for, you know, uh, for my DMX light show. So all you're going to need is the drivers installed on your PC or Mac. So once you do that, once you install your drivers and everything, you have to uh, install, let me see if I can uh, see it here. Uh, you go to the website, to the uh, Novation so website, and you have to download uh, a program called the uh, auto map what that enables is it enables the, uh, the controller to uh, it's pretty much the setup um, on you know the inputs and the outputs of the uh, controller so once you download that uh, once you download everything uh, from the website you wanna put it on you wanna pin it on on the auto start let me go ahead and open it for you and the process of setting it up is easy once you get everything going you get this this page here you have a uh, first tab is it's kinda hard to zoom in you guys but trying to get focused so we have first Tab is uh, preferences, 
it's just you know letting you know to do you know launch at startup you know uh, check for updates you know all that good stuff uh, and then it's uh, f your controls here has a uh, you know focus device which is launch pad which we want it there and then uh, you go to software setup and you have to set up your inputs and your outputs and as you can see you have to set both of them to auto map MIDI uh, in and out and uh, I'm not sure what the purpose of all these uh, channels here are but I think uh, each it's almost like pages uh, each cha each one of these is a page and it has like uh, I think a hundred about 128 channels per page so there's a lot of variations you know as like I said you know it's for uh, it's for uh, uh, you know making music or producing music but we're gonna be using it uh, for you know just MIDI triggering so just go ahead and uh, check check uh, box number one and I think this one's enabled by default so uh, just leave that the same once you have that just go ahead and minimize it or I think you can actually close it yeah just close it and as you can see it still stays on your on your menu right there and then once you get all that done just open uh, your my DMX um, and then you know whatever show whatever scenes you have saved or whatever and this is where you know this is where you start a uh, this is where you start learning your uh, uh, learning the scenes, uh, lear lear learning the pad to the scenes, and as you can see, um, I'll, I'll show you guys a quick. Uh, this one, I have it mapped out just like how how it is there. So as you can see, I have my uh, my blackout button. I'm gonna use it here so as I'm pushing it as I'm pushing it you'll see a little window come up there that's me pushing it and all that's doing is triggering the, the blackout now I'm gonna go down the second one pushing it let me see if I can go a little bit further out and you guys can see you see moving that that's me pushing the pad Go back to one or blackout and strobes. Now, as you guys want to see here, on blackout, on blackout. Let's see if I can get a, a view of it. Okay, let's see, I'm, I'm pushing, uh, let's see, one, two, I'm pushing this one. So, there you guys go on, off. On, off, and the way you do that, you go to each one, each tab right here. Sorry, guys, I'm doing this one-handed, so uh, bear with me. What you do is, you want to take your mouse and click the scene, or the uh, yeah, click the click the scene here, or the show, whatever you want to call it, the tab. And then once you have it click, you're gonna right click, and you get this menu here. And what you want to do is go to Learn MIDI Command. Once you click that, you'll get another pop-up menu that says Waiting on Command. Uh, it says Waiting on MIDI Command, and what you do is once you get there, you push the button that you want to assign. So in this case, we're gonna go ahead and relearn it. I want the blackout to be here and then once you push it the screen disappears and that's confirming that it's programmed already there so let's see let's go there and I'm pushing this one and it's gonna turn off see so what you do is you do you do uh, so on and so forth click it and then you right click you go to uh, learn MIDI and then on the launch pad, you uh, click it on whatever whatever pattern or whatever pad you want. Um, 
what I did is I copied just the the same same pattern that's there. So I did you know I did a uh, one I did one two three four and the same thing here on on the midi. I did one two three and four. So uh, that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, uh, you can program steps and all that onto the launch pad, and you really don't have to do anything else other than just download the drivers and download that auto map, and you hook it up to your laptop, and you right click on the on the clips there, and then. Once it tells you to, you know, waiting on command, you just click whatever pad you want and and it's pretty much done. Like I said, it's not nothing hard, nothing you know, easy easy step. Easy tutorial. As you can see, the lights are running. Let me uh If you guys want to, let me go ahead and uh throw some smoke and turn off the lights. And turn up the music a little bit and you guys can see the the launch pad. There's the launch pad itself. Like I said, it only says static, one color. Um, it looks like it's glowing on the camera, but it's really not. It's just it's just on. And uh, let me point to the lights, and this is me pushing the. This is me pushing or uh, controlling the lights with the launch pad. So uh, let me know, guys. Let me know, uh, guys, what you think about it. Um. Leave your comments down below. Like I said, it's something I wanted to add, you know, for fun. So my son can get into it, you know. Um, but it's, you know, a neat way to control your lights versus using your hand or a mouse to, uh, to click it. Now, you know, you do have to still make your scenes normally, you know. You still have to use your mouse and your pad. You know, or a mouse pad here to do whatever scenes you want. But to trigger them, this is only, it's to trigger them MIDI wise. So this is a, it's a MIDI trigger or it's a MIDI controller. And we're using it as MIDI, MIDI triggering. So I mean, it's a, it's a cool new, uh, new way, you know, or addition, you know, to your setup. To make it look good, you know, interesting, you know, because people are going to wonder what that thing is, you know, and they're going to see, they're going to see you or whoever you have controlling them, you know, pushing it, and they're going to be all oh, cool, you know, at least in my perspective, so, uh, let me know what you guys think, uh, about this launch pad, if you guys like it, cool, if not, uh, let me know what you guys don't like about it, what you guys do like about it. Like I said, uh, I haven't done a video in a while, so I thought this one, this one was good. So, uh, once you're done, this will also save your settings on there. So, uh, once you get it all programmed and everything, just go to, uh, go to file. And then go to uh, where it says save as. And then of course you'll know, name it whatever you want. You know, I, I named this uh, this show uh, Interroll. Because that's the, you know, the the only shows that uh, I'm only using the Interrolls for this one. So you hit save. And it's going to ask you if you want to override it. You hit yes. And then just uh, close it. And next time you open it up. It should be saved under. So, uh, quick tutorial, you guys, on how to set this up. You guys have any questions? Any uh, any comments? Inbox me. Send me messages. Whatever you guys need, uh, and I'll get you. Uh, if you guys need help setting it up, that's fine. You know, uh, I'll, I'll walk you through it. 
But other than that, that's it, you guys. Uh, peace out, YouTube.